And then the Neeson said to his disciples, I am not hijacking this plane. I am trying to save it. All power to you, the great Nisa's pieces. Nonstop. Nonstop is a new thriller, actiony suspense movie directed by Jomi Colazera, uh, if I'm pronouncing his name right. If not, I'm sorry, I'm just that American guy who's like, it's all English to me. So this film was directed by Jomi Colazera, whom, if you don't know what he's directed before, he directed Unknown, also with Liam Neeson's The Nieces of Pieces. And he also directed House of Wax and Orphan. And also two episodes of The River, if you liked that show. I personally did. Nonstop follows a washed-up air marshal named Bill Marks, played by... Liam Neeson. The Neesonite. His wonderfulness of neck-punchingness. And so Liam Neeson is sitting there uh, as Bill Marks, and he's, he's a drunk. Uh, he's not happy with his life, and he's got to go on a plane flight, and you assume it's one of his last in his career, just because he just looks so beat up. And he goes in, and you see him, and it's just like routine for him. And I love the way they showed this, is they show Liam Neeson going through his career as an air marshal, and you just see that it's a drag to him now. Always going through all the lines, everything, and it's just dragging him down, but you see occasional little glimmers of things that make him a little bit happy, so you kind of get a glimpse into him. I like that they really spent a bit of time in the beginning building up this character so you grow attached to him, because when you're watching the rest of the movie, you need to be attached to this character in order to believe that he can succeed, in my opinion. So as they go on their plane, uh, transatlantic flight across over to London, uh, and he is the air marshal for that flight. And he starts getting some interesting text messages on a secure network that only people from the plane technically should have access to. And they basically say, I will kill somebody every 20 minutes if $150 million is not transported into this bank account. So Liam Neeson is racing against the clock and it's frantic and it's claustrophobic because the movie takes place except for that beginning part of the movie, just that little intro that you get into the character. The film ultimately is entirely in one set, and it's this just plain, and you know how you feel when you're on a plane and you're just kind of like, this sucks. And there's always those people kind of like pushing into you and you hate it. Well, that's what this movie makes you feel like, not in a negative way. You're sitting there and you're watching this movie and you're going, I just feel so trapped right now. And it's threatening you. And you feel like you're a part of the Jeopardy. Uh, that's one thing I really loved about this film, is I felt a part of the Jeopardy. Liam Neeson going around. People, once, once the flies start dropping, that's when the intensity just hits and you're watching it, and every time somebody is hurt or something, or Liam Neeson makes a choice in the movie to start just acting on something that if you saw it on an airplane, you would just freak out and go, <laughs> it really grips you. And the best way I can describe this film is it's as if Alfred Hitchcock directed a Die Hard on a plane. Yeah, get that in your head. Alfred Hitchcock directing a Die Hard type movie on a plane. That is what you're in for with this film. This is really a Hitchcockian thriller at its core, and it's not a full-blown action movie. It's not Liam Neeson running through, just blowing dudes away. It's him being a detective, trying to figure out a mystery. And why is this happening? Why are we all just dying or being tortured. What is going on on this plane o death? Yes, it is a plane o death in this movie. I mean, the movie stars Liam Neeson, and some of you have been on this channel before, um, and just my friends and family. You all know that I'm what you would call a little bit of a Liam Neeson fan. Oh my god, Liam Neeson's in a movie! Liam Neeson, oh the Liam Neeson with the... the and I have a ridiculous set of skin. I like Liam Neeson. Um, and... 
I... Most of his movies just instantly hit something of my top favorites of whatever it may be. And... except for Star Wars Episode One, But, uh... I, I love Liam Neeson movies, uh, so when I'm watching this, it just was really awesome to me. So back to the actors. Um, Julianne Moore was also in the movie. Uh, she was pretty good in it. Um, my only problem is, is I felt like she overacted it. That was my real complaint to the movie, was actually Julianne Moore. I felt like she overacted it a little bit. You couldn't tell if she was drunk or just not caring. Because her character was drinking a lot, but she wasn't doing that kind of actor kind of drunk where the actors are clearly trying to act drunk. Um, but she just looked drunk. And, you know, she did good in spots. She did great in spots. It's just throughout the movie, there were these spots that I'm going, Julianne Moore really needs to do another take. Um, I was not fond of her performance. Uh, Scoop McNary's in this movie. Uh, if you don't know who Scoot McNary is, he was in Monsters and Argo, uh, and he was phenomenal in the movie. Uh, really, really liked his character. Um, and just, it, there's lots of little roles, because it's all focusing on Bill Marks, the Liam Neeson character, whom, of course, steals the show. Which, I would hope he stole the show. And it's got the guy from that new TV show I'm looking forward to called The Strain. And... He was awesome in the movie. He was probably my second favorite character. The film is also really well shot. During action segments, uh, it wasn't like close quarter shaky cam, really. It was well shot. Like, you could tell that there were certain types of framings that they wanted. And when they're in the airplane, they really made you feel like the airplane was getting smaller. And I really liked the way they did the camera work. The color palette was this wonderful bluish color. And it looked gorgeous. So you're looking at some beautiful imagery. Uh, while well, you're getting this wonderful thrill ride. This movie is a lot of fun. I would highly recommend seeing it this weekend. Uh, actually, I put my fullest recommendation and pretty much my practical near demand that you go see it. I am buying it on Blu-ray when it comes out on Blu-ray. I hope all of you go see this movie and it's a huge success. I really love seeing these kinds of Liam Neeson action movies. I'm gonna score this as a 95% because it is just a solid thrill ride and it is so much fun, and I feel like if if you go to bring a date, bring somebody, and you're going to have a fun time, in my opinion anyway. And that's really what you're here for, is my opinion. So you know what? I think you guys are going to have a fun time. Okay, do you like Nonstop? Are you going to go see Nonstop? Please, no spoilers. Be friendly. Alright, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.